Like I really believe that solutions-based offers is pretty much the main way that if you're gonna do service-based, this is the way that you can leverage yourself. Now, I was on a call yesterday with my students and one of my students in one of our flagship programs was saying, gosh, you know, it's just so hard to change, so hard to change. I'm like, L listen, boo, you do not have to change. But you don't have to keep your business either. You can stay in the pain that is the way that it is right now. You guys, like, this is called innovation. You must innovate or you're going to, your business will die, not you. I mean, you're going to eventually die. Yeah, I mean, you know that. But your, your, your business is going to die sooner rather than later. It's innovation. This is Secrets for Success. Welcome to the Secrets for Success podcast. I'm your host, Greg Todd. Thank you, as always, for joining me, my friends. Hey, we are 10 days away. Oh, my goodness. 10 days away from SSAT Live 2024. Uh, you're either coming or you're not, but if you're not coming, then go here, go to SSATLive2024.com slash virtual and go get your virtual ticket. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a great event. Uh, you know, guys, times are changing. Times are changing. Maybe that's what we'll call today's podcast. Times are changing. Um, we were just talking about Red Lobster. Yeah, I'm sure you've been there before. You know, we all have a Red Lobster story. I have mine. Um, but, you know, Red Lobster is a restaurant that we used to frequent back in the day. Red Lobsters are closing down all across the nation. And we we're just talking in the office that it's not just Red Lobster. The reality is that so many service-based businesses are shutting down. They're shutting down because it's getting harder and harder and so much more difficult to make a profit working in a service-based business. So why is that important to you? Because you went to school to be a part of a service-based business in healthcare. And, you know, guys, we, we really have to understand that the models that we are currently using are not set up for us to win the way that it was set up for our parents to win 30, 40, 50 years ago. It just isn't. We're just in a different time. The reality is that it's much easier for you to buy stuff online. It's much easier for you to return things on Amazon versus returning it at your local store. And that's why local stores are struggling. You know, recently I was in a, a, a store here in Largo and it was called Batteries Plus. And I have never been upsold so much to buy double A and AAA batteries and tried to sell me every single possible thing they could sell me at the store. I know they're going to go out of business. Um, and it's just because they're a service-based business that hasn't innovated. So there's a couple things I want to tell you guys that I just think is really important. I think it's important for you to understand that we are in a different time and times are changing. And if you are going to do service-based, you're going to have to come up with some unique strategies or different ways in order for you to be able to not only survive, but hopefully thrive during these times. And I do believe there are ways to do that. And I'm going to be talking about some of those ways at the event. I, like, I really believe that solutions-based offers is pretty much the main way that if you're going to do service-based, this is the way that you can leverage yourself. Now, I was on a call yesterday with my students and one of my students in one of our flagship programs was saying, gosh, you know, it's just so hard to change, so hard to change. I'm like, L listen, boo, you do not have to change. But you don't have to keep your business either. You can stay in the pain that is the way that it is right now. You guys, like, this is called innovation. You must innovate or you're going to, your business will die, not you. I mean, you're going to eventually die. Yeah, I mean, you know that. But your, your, your business is going to die sooner rather than later. It's innovation. And that's all that has happened over the last 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, even the last year. It's just people have innovated. They're innovating. And it's a different world that we live in. And if you're a service-based business, if you haven't innovated, you're out.
And it doesn't matter if you've been around for 50 years or 60 years like Red Lobster. Or, you know, remember Sizzler back in the day? Okay, remember Steak and Shake? They're, they're all going out of business as well. You guys, it's just, it's just understanding that innovation is what rules today. And if you're not innovative, you're going to die. And that's why this year's event, the whole theme is innovation. We must innovate. Uh, we must innovate. And I do think that, look, I think it's hard in any arena to, to innovate. But I really do think it's hard in healthcare because healthcare, you can kind of get away with it. You can get away with it. But I think now people are really feeling, they're really feeling the press. You know, they're feeling, they're feeling how tight things are getting. And it really just comes down to innovation. There's a lot of people that are really crushing it, but they're innovative. They're innovative. And I'm just asking you to be innovative as well. If you want to do service space, let me tell you this. You're not going to achieve flexibility and freedom if you don't change the way that you're delivering the care. I'll also say this. I know many of you are like, oh my God, I don't want to work for somebody anymore. I just want to work for myself. Working for yourself has its benefits, but it also has a lot of its drawbacks as well. And I personally cannot be someone that is promoting time freedom and at the same time telling you you're going to be a solo person working for yourself in a service-based business. It's not going to happen, okay? You might be able to, you know, coming to work when you want this, that, whatever, but you, you really can't, you know, you really can't. So anyways, guys, I just, it's just, I don't know. It's been, it's, get, it's kind of been gnawing at me. Like, like we need to innovate and, and that's what this year's event's going to be all about. I'm asking you, whether you're coming to the event or not, make the rest of your year about how do I innovate? How do I do things differently in a way that is a win for me, but it's also a win for my customers and my patients? and start thinking of that and ponder on that and then act on it. Much love, till next time. Remember, get your tickets, SSAC Live 2024.com forward slash virtual. Let's go.